Okay, jumping back into it here. Looks like we're live again. For those of you watching these videos in order, our opponent jumped into party, uh, Bohemian, to tell me that they meant to play the Handware Garrison and they played the Fleshbag Marauder on the empty board instead, and at that point lost all hope, abandoned all reason. <laughs> And now it says I'm offline again, so let me... Ugh, ugh, meh, what the heck? I guess everything went offline. I lost uh, the other stream I was watching at the same time. The GP stream took a, took a nap. But am I live? Some people say I'm live. Okay, so let's uh, jump, let's jump to something new. Um, so let's, I mean, it's not new. This, this was around last season, but I don't know. I dusted it off the other day. It's got a few minor upgrades, like every creature deck ever now it has Smuggler's Copter, so that's a thing. But I just tweaked a few of the cards in it, and it seemed pretty good. So this is Bant Humans. It has, um, if you look down there, 27 white cards, 6 blue cards, and 8 green cards, and 2 colorless cards. Guess what those two are. But we're playing uh, the two ones. We're playing Thalia's Lieutenant for the big pumps. We're playing Selfless Spirit to protect the board. Duskwatch to find us more things because it's a human werewolf, a human warrior werewolf, just in case you have a warrior theme deck that needs more help. Uh, Declaration Stone is the removal, but of course Reflector Mage will double up. Uh, Thalia, Tireless Tracker, draw cards, it's great. Uh, Reflector Mage, always watching, collective effort. Courageous Outrider, see now we're gonna get into the part of the deck that is like the inner Johnny, inner inner Johnny uh, will enjoy. So Courageous Outrider I think is a little underrated because as soon as you get this out and either cast a Thalia's Lieutenant or with an Always Watching it's like a 4-5 which is pretty amazing. Those are amazing stats in the meta in that it dodges your languishes and it, it's kind of hard to sweep away plus it gets you value. I found this to be really helpful. And then uh, we have Altered Ego to copy the Courageous Outrider or the Thalia's Lieutenant or the Reflector Mage and do some nut, nutty things with that uh, so that you can get your four Thalia's Lieutenant experience. And then we throw on a Gideon, a Tamio to push the damage, and Archangel Avacyn, which is not a human, but works really well around humans with creatures. It's just a good creature deck card like Smuggler's Copter. We've got a really tilted mana base. We rock eight planes, one island, one forest, the dual lands that are white, the Aether Hubs, and three Evolving Wilds. Let's go see what happens to banned humans. <laughs> yeah, Nighthawk is sold at Alter Ego, which is definitely one of the funner things in this deck. Which ones were the colorless ones? If you're talking about um, the deck I just showed, the two colorless cards were Smuggler's Copters. Smuggler's Copter. Why? Because we have creatures in our deck. Any deck with like 18 or more creatures should probably have Smuggler's Copter. Unless they're walls. Like if they're 06s, maybe not. And if you're running that, I don't know what to tell you. You must, you must be a Pee Pee Squeeps fan. Let's see if our opponent knows what's coming at them. See if they're prepared. Does Altered Ego trigger Thalia's plus one plus one counter? If you copy a Thalia, it double triggers. It triggers the Thalia's lieutenant in play, and it triggers itself. Wow. So these hands. Okay, I guess we'll try this. Um, uh, white. We have to get white. I mean, but... No, that's not true. Like most lands in our deck are white, so when we it will produce white mana. So I should get green because that way the next land I draw will produce white. All right. <laughs> hey, we're getting some lag. I love it. Good old lag. Ah, nothing like a little bit of lag in the morning. Uh, get me going. 
If my opponent takes that long to play their second land, I'm going to run for a soda. My vo before my voice goes. Alright. You. You. And pass turn. Go get soda. Run! And I made it! I made it right at the buzzer, right before the end of the turn. Woo! Why is the GP coverage still offline? Yeah, I'm watching GP coverage at the same time. I'm a multitasking superstar. Um, let's see here, what are we gonna do? Probably gonna crew this sucker up. Probably gonna do it with a Duskwatch recruiter. Yep, that makes sense. That's good stuff. Get to the chopper! Look out! Do I need a second recruiter? Recruiter's so good though, but... I guess I really want all these. So... Is getting rid of a Declaration in Stone the right thing to do? And it's my only removal, so that can't be the right thing to do. I think I'm going to get rid of the other Duskwatch. Because this into that, with my Duskwatch, is all hunky-dory. And the second Duskwatch is, like, just cake icing. Don't necessarily need the cake icing. It's still cake. Although the icing can be the best part. My metaphors break down unusually quickly on the weekends. I don't know if you, you guys notice. All right, opponent, are you going to poke me with your healer? Which is all kind of strange and sounds really twisted and not not cool in general. Vampire cleric ally. <laughs> A lot going on with that card. Like Zendikar and Oath, like the triple types. The triple creature types. Okay, so we're going to flip. I that, that does make Thalia's lieutenant worse. Uh, maybe I want to take this turn and go get something else. I think I do, because it does make me not want to play Lieutenant here. That's a good find. That's a good find. Ooh! Oh! Oh no! <laughs> it's gonna get crazy. We gonna get crazy in here. Alright. Um, do I even want to... I don't want to loot out of this hand. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Let's see. But I guess I could hit a land, so I'm still going to. And then I wouldn't need the knight. And if he has a removal spell here for the copter, I'm okay with that. Here it comes. Oh, you should have done it before I looted, bro. Alright, let's hit... And it's an always watching. Oh my goodness. But I do think I have to keep these, these, this, that. I mean, it would just. I guess I have to keep this in case he has a Kalitas. So is always watching better than an Altered Ego? No, it's not. So we'll get rid of that. Also, might turn on his Solemn Offering that I just can't wait for him to draw. Although, you'd think he'd play it on a Copter. But you never know. These people are mad. They're mad, I tell you. Mm. All right, what's your turn for? Yep, that thing. That's the kind of card you keep this around for. <laughs> He'll just try, like, their whole game plan is going to be make this a giant thing. Uh-huh. You got me. Bring in the pain. So this awkward mana draw, we're going to keep working it out. So what what do we do here? Uh, we can Knight of the White Orchid. 
We can go get a planes and play the hub. The planes can play one of these lieutenants. The hub can play the other lieutenant. Do I have an energy left over after that line? No, I do not. So I need to make sure I do at least save an energy for the ego. Oh wait, one, two, three. I can go lieutenant and ego this turn, right? If I'm doing my math right. Let's, let's go find out. Let's see what happens here. It is just too bad that uh, our Howler isn't going to get all the love. We can't get the dual lands because it would come into play tapped. It would take me off the line I want to run here. And yeah, we're going to be a mana. We're not going to have the mana for another Ego. So, do I spend my energy and then not be able to cast my to use my Ego next turn? but I get the pumps. Or next turn, I can do both. Probably. My uh, Howler is going to flip. Yeah, I'm going to be conservative here and pass. I can't afford to have a card get stranded in my hand after all this. And this is interesting. There's actually a lot going, uh, there's actually going on with, a lot going on here with uh, setting this up. And I'm probably making mistakes. 5% battery left on my iPad that has the Grand Prix on, so I'm about to lose half my entertainment. Uh, plug it in, plug it in. But now it's just taking place behind me. A Seth Manfield in the semifinals, still just clobbering everything in sight with Black Green Delirium, for those who care about that kind of thing. Oh man, double drain, double life gain. Oh no, what will that do? Uh, let's see, if he attacks with that, do I care? I think I take it, but then I'm kind of in danger of getting drained out if he plays a second one, but I... Ugh, that's kind of a messy thing, right? Um, but I'm going to take it. I think that's right. So let's see what happens. Draw. Okay, another critter. So we want to do the blue and the green for the ego, and then the white. Or we could just pump up the ego. I guess that's fun. Or we could do, okay, we can save the Ego for next turn. We can do Deck, Lieutenant, Envoy, but that uses up our energy, so no, that doesn't work. A little awkward with the Aether Hubs. Feeling it. Feeling it indeed. I guess the Envoy is fine as a chump blocker, so we'll go Ego Envoy. Ego Envoy, okay. Uh, or Envoy Ego is what we'll do. And that will be our suicider. <laughs> Triggers, baby. Triggers. Everybody get big. Um, 4433. Three. I guess he could gang block the Duskwatch, and I'd be fine with that. So let's put the pressure on. Let's force him to lean into his big monster here, and then we can take it out. And if we're really lucky, he plays another one, which is kind of the reason I'm waiting as long as I possibly can. I really want to catch a two for one. All right, guess not. But our clock is about to get quick. You gonna send the 7-7? Seven, seven? He is. All right, Envoy. Take one for this team. Now, Envoy does have better stats right now than the Lieutenant, but the other Lieutenant's gonna grow faster. It's gonna be a 3-3 three, three next turn. It, and that's without playing another human. And uh, yeah, Campaign of Vengeance would be something. 
<laughs> oh, yeah. That'd be something. All right, one, two, three, four. I've got nothing left over for the mana. Ugh. All right, uh, let's do it. Boom. 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 Let's send them in. Get sideways. It's a lot of damage. Maybe he just takes it all. <laughs> that'd be that'd be fun. Yeah, one chumpy, sure. And get that off the table. We're gonna play out our last land, although I don't love it. In case he has a declaration in stone, we want to crack our clue as soon as he uses it. Of course, him having a declaration in stone would be a very negative experience, as he would get all these lieutenants. Oh, it's the general! <laughs> Howdy, general. <laughs> I wonder if he'll be paying the five different colored mana anytime soon. <laughs> you know, it doesn't make sense, right? They removed Sylvan Ranger from the game, because they say that they don't want us playing like five color good stuff decks, but they give us the general, and the general needs all five colors. Little bit hy hypocritical if you ask me. All right, <laughs> get off your high horse, Wagner. It's not okay. All right, let's run that. <laughs> and yeah, Outrider in the house. That just tells you how broken the general is. This is the first time you've seen it hit the board. It's right here on Xbox. Look at that miss. Look at that miss. Goodbye to all of those cards. Who needs them? <laughs> all right. Pump them up. Pump them up. Turn them sideways. Yay! You saw the power of double, triple Thalia's lieutenant. Thanks to the altered ego. Somehow, somehow overcame the Colostria healer and uh, blood drainy vampire thingy. Let's see if we can do it again. I have another Bant deck. It's a total teaser. A, I've got a I've got a Bant a Bant deck built around like infinity loop combos that I'm gonna have to play one of these times. It masquerades as a beatdown deck, but just when you just when you're not thinking about it, it goes infinite. It makes infinite energy and absurdly large uh, long tusk cubs and bristling hydras. <laughs> Yeah, that general might be like the worst card. It's it's just so bad. That's one you just want to give back. It's such a junk rare. So so annoying. It's like why guys? Why is that in here? <laughs> why why do we get that card of all the cards we could get? Dovin Bond? Hell no. <laughs> Have a general Taziri. <laughs> all right, looks like we're gonna rock this curve. I love it. Let's see if our Nissa-sleeved opponent has any answers for the absolutely quick human beatdown they're they're going to receive. We are going to need another blue source. The Aether Hub, if it uh, sits here as our only blue source, is going to get used up. And look at that. Look at that. All I had to do was ask. So this turn, do I want to play Lieutenant now? I think I do, which means this may not come in untapped sometime soon. Um, bam. Yeah. <laughs> Very few generals. Very few generals. But man, he should have some command presence. 
Right now, all he does is come out, B3-4, go fetch some other lame card that you probably shouldn't be running any to begin with, and then sit there with an acted of activated ability that's like a holy grail. It should be its own achievement, it's so weird. So, two mana, what's he going to do to me? Blessed Ally me? Let's go find out. I'm not going to play a Reflector Mage for nothing. They're too good. I can take this uh, turn to put down the tap land if it's going to be that way. Get ready to alter that ego. Although Spell Queller would disappoint me. Of course, Spell Queller could get Reflector Mage and Alter Ego could come out later. And it's... Wow! Here's here, here's uh, Call the Gatewatch at its very best. He's going to take turn three off to search for a Tamiyo. He has no creature presence on the board to support that Tamiyo. And it doesn't... I mean, it doesn't exactly protect itself. It protects itself awkwardly, I guess you could say. But he's going to be really behind on the board. <laughs> Power up. <laughs> Hit for seven. Now he's just dead next turn. <laughs> Hey, the uh, the the Onok guide is only bad because we got used to Sylvan Ranger and we got spoiled. The card is not great, admittedly, but it isn't it isn't just pure horrible like the general pretty much is. And it uses a common spot in the deck box. The general uses a mythic rare spot in Zendikar, I believe. Zendikar or Oath. It's like to me, one has committed a far greater crime than the other. <laughs> oh, get in there. I guess I hit Tamio to take away his chance of minusing again to lock these creatures down for another turn. <laughs> Crynock guide. <laughs> I can dig that. A uh, gate creeper vine. <laughs> Dude, the mirror. Miss the mirror. The most obvious inclusion in every deck. Just get your perilous mirrors out. Well, Tamio, what you gonna do? I mean, you were called. You were called by Call of the Gate Watch. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. You're gonna attack me for five too. Making choices. Just waiting over here. Yeah, I think the moral of this particular game is going to be cute Planeswalker deck. You should probably do something before turn four. Uh, if he ever passes the turn... And the game doesn't freeze Avacyn from coming in. There we go. <laughs> do 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 do. We'll just we'll just do all the rubbins because I just like doing that to Planeswalker decks that take a long time to do anything. <laughs> I'm just mean like that. <laughs> yeah, we'll leave the game. Sure. <laughs> Poor Papo. Gotta do something earlier, man. If I'm gonna curve out on you, you're gonna get run over. If you don't have, like, a turn two removal or blocker or something. He probably has him in the deck, just didn't draw him. Just didn't draw him. <laughs> Alright. We'll see if we can get one more before I have to run off and play Party Host. But if this doesn't connect, we'll call it for the night. And we'll call it a good night, as we got to play... We got to highlight a few decks, play some good games... We had some pretty close games, despite the general jankiness of the cards in the opponent's decks. Sometimes white creatures with auras, man. they Sometimes they just come after you. Or sometimes Planeswalker. Like, we, we were more challenged by white creature plus aura than we were by uh, turn 4 Tamiyo, turn 5 Nyssa. That's the way it goes sometimes. That's the way it is when you play aggro decks that actually focus on having a board presence. 
you get way more challenged by some big nimbus winged white for strike thing. And it looks like we found an opponent for the last battle. All I want is the mana to be... <laughs> all, all I want is for the mana to be acceptable. Bohemian says, we also got to watch Bohemian Fleshbag himself. That is a thing. Our opponent will not be disappointing us. They are going to play a 100 card fat stack. I'm going to keep this hand, which has no pressure and too much removal, and a card we can't cast. Um, but the idea is that just most draws from my deck should be good, and I should have the time to get to them. So we'll see if I regret this. It's one of those things where in duels I probably would have taken the free mulligan, in paper I wouldn't take the mulligan and just try to trust my deck. So here on camera, what am I going to do? I'm just not going to mulligan. See what happens. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> we got all the anthems, so when we do start drawing our uh, 26 creatures or whatever it is, we're going to be in good shape. Our opponent has the 100 card stack, so we can't put anything by them. If it's a card in those colors, they're probably playing it. All right, get out there. You know what this means, guys. You know what this is over here. You know what this combo is? Always watching, Altered Ego. We can play a 1-1 one, one Altered Ego. I bet they'll never see that coming. We can just play the 1-1-0, one, one, zero, I mean 0-0 zero, zero, Altered Ego. All right, that's fine. Uh, do, hmm. I gotta decide if I wanna hold out for the land. And I can definitely let go of this declaration with these efforts. I can't think of a small creature I'll need to declare. Uh-oh, he's discarding Necromax Summons. That's not how you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to discard the fatty. Um, Do I play this? Yeah, I'm just gonna play it. I'm not gonna need the extra land for anything, but I sure do need a board presence. Mm. Yeah, you got me. <laughs> you really got me now. And he's stuck on lands. That's bad for us, because it means their hand is full of spells. And that's the worst draw. <laughs> that's like the worst draw we could have. Awesome. Just gotta love that. Alright. Maybe I should have held that for the guy who reached Sanitarium. Eh. <laughs> Let's see how many, like, two of rares we can get in sets in our hand. That's a very duels-ish thing. He's got his Merklurk on. It's only a 1-3, though. What do I want to... Is there something I want to copy? Like, actually want to copy? I can't use the ability of the Merklurker, and I wouldn't get the boost. So I guess I'm just copying my own... Knight? Hmm. <laughs> I'll think about it while I attack here. It'll be a very lame copy. But I guess we want to get him dead, don't we? I mean, he's not guaranteed to draw land ever. There's 87 cards in there. 40 of them are land. There could be the bottom 40. So I guess we'll just make a big first striker. Oh, I could, I could, I could use the ability of the Merc Lurker with the Aether Hubs if it weren't now in the graveyard, thanks to the mighty Bone Splinters. <sighs> Nighthawk knew. Nighthawk knew. He always knows. <laughs> get in there. Let's see if we can get him dead before all those cards in his hand come into play. This is like the worst alter ego deck of all time. <laughs> and it's still doing okay. But I mean, 7-7. Seven, seven, that was 7 mana for a 6-6 six, six first strike can't be countered. Ah, uh, Probably won't play that card if it were handed to me. Oh, look. There's a creature. Guess one of these collective efforts got to go. Alright. Opponent still doesn't have a land drop. Perfectly, uh, completely unclimactic end to the videos today, but it's been a good time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it. Hello, gorgeous. Not that gorgeous, to be honest, but, you know. 
She's still my girl. <laughs> Total research nerd, according to the lore. But still my girl. <laughs> she got no time for Gatewatch. She gotta go study things. Like how Emmercool just totally wrecks an entire plane. Interesting. <laughs> yes, draw me those cards. Um, Do I want to play out my hand? I could get languished, I guess. Do I care? Uh, we'll play this one. We'll hold the land and the Duskwatch. Although the land isn't going to matter. Eh, yeah, I'll just... Yeah. I don't think it matters at all. As we wind it down, thank you everybody for hanging out, watching the video. I've got to go play Party Host. I'll try to send these over to YouTube, which is something I haven't done in a long time. So if you watch this on YouTube, shout out. Looks like the opponents had enough. Unless they got tricks. Let's go find out. Send in the clowns. For strike damage. Boom. Alright, I hope everybody enjoyed their weekend. I had an awesome magic filled weekend. Not eager for it to end. And now I get to go socialize with, with people on the non-internet. Later all.